In this video, we will show you the basics of using Iowa One Call's Design Request System. There are two types of design tickets you can file with the Design Request System. Design Information Requests and Design Locate Requests. Let's start with the Design Information Request, also known as a DIR. The process for filing a Design Information Request is very similar to filing a normal Locate Request. Starting at the main NextGen menu, select the Design Information Request button in the lower right corner of the screen. Then follow the normal process for selecting your proposed worksite, just as you would with a routine Locate Request. Once you have finished, click the Submit button. This will transmit the DIR to the affected utilities. The design information request will now also appear in your DRS archive. To view your DRS archive, click the Design Request System button on the left side of the iSight main menu screen. Here you will find a comprehensive list of the design information requests and design locate requests you have filed. You can sort the list using a number of different criteria, including location information, project name, and date range. Clicking on an individual ticket number allows you to view the entire ticket. You can also view a PDF version of the ticket or send an email copy of the ticket using the corresponding buttons. And finally, the Design Request System menu allows you to convert design information requests into design locate requests. Once you have contacted the facility owners for information regarding your design information request, and if you have a need to get underground facilities physically marked at a specific location, you may wish to convert your DIR into a design locate request. Please note that at least five business days must elapse before converting a design information request into a design locate request. First, find the relevant design information request and click the Convert DIR button. This will take you to the mapping section. If you need to remap the worksite, you can do so here. If the original mapping is still correct, click Next. Once you have moved on to the next page, you must verify the information that has been transferred from the original DIR. You will also need to enter location information. Fill in the fields as needed, and please note that your company's information is already listed in the proper fields. Add specific marking instructions in order for the locate to be completed. The area you have mapped does not affect how the facility owners mark their lines, so they'll need clear marking instructions before they can respond. When you are ready, click Next. You will then be presented with a list of the facility owners in the affected area. Use the checkboxes to select the specific facility owner or owners you would like to mark lines at your projected worksite. When you are ready, clicking the Submit button will submit the request to the selected facility operators. Once you submit the request, you will receive notification via email. Please note that this is not an actual ticket and that no excavation can be performed using a design locate request. If excavation is planned, contact Iowa One Call to file a routine dig ticket. Thanks for watching.